What's going on, Craig? It's Robert with Southpaw Auto Works. Craig, I got your question regarding the 4L60E input shaft O-ring. Uh, you had mentioned that you bought a new one. However, the new one has a small cut in it. And again, good eye. Got to catch uh, the littlest of details like that can cause uh, big problems. And you were asking about uh, whether or not you should use that new O-ring or use the old O-ring. And you had mentioned that the old O-ring is still in good shape. No cuts in it and uh, it still seems to be uh, pliable. Uh, my response to that is I would just get a new O-ring. I know it sucks to have to order more parts. You're probably like ready to put this thing back together and now you're gonna have to wait. But I'm telling you, waiting uh, for this new part to show up is gonna be a lot less time involved and than the alternative. And here's what the alternative could be. Uh, you could install one of those two O-rings and if you wind up having a problem after you get it installed in the vehicle, it's gonna be a torque converter related problem. Uh, the only way to fix it at that point is to take the unit, pull it back out, pull the converter out, and then you can gain access to that O-ring again. And uh, I don't know, it just sounds like a big headache to me that could be avoided by buying a new O-ring. Speaking of buying a new O-ring, there are two different types of O-rings because there's two different types of input shafts. The 298 millimeter converter and corresponding input shaft was used in 4L60Es from 93 to 97. And in 98 and up, 98 to 2014, they went to a 300 millimeter converter, which uses a different O-ring. As you can see, the O-rings are not only different size, but the O-rings are also installed in a different location on the input shaft. You can find links to input shaft O-rings in the video description down below. Full disclosure, they are affiliate links. They do help the Southpaw Auto Works YouTube channel at no additional cost to you. Craig, thank you for dropping me a line. It was a great question, and again, good eye. And uh, wishing you the best with your rebuild. Take care.